cool. So we're going to start. We have quorum. Um, and I'm going to just restate it. We, me and Beth receive an email from Jenna. I'll run an hour ago, an hour and a half ago, that she's not going to be able to make it today. Um, and she's still working on the form. And we're going to start a meeting. So, welcome, everybody. This is the City Council Select Committee to Study Barriers to Serving on City Boards and Commission. Today is November 29. Uh, 2022. This meeting is starting at 7 30. Um, Beth, can we do roll call? Yes, Javier, are you here? Here. Jamila? Here. Susan? Here. Gwen? Gwen is not here at the moment. Uh, Garrick? Here. Cynthia? Uh, here. And Jenna is not here. Uh, Beth, I just let Wen in. Oh, okay. So if you want to sort of wait for her to show up in the screen so you can confirm that she's coming in. Wen, are you here? Hello, I'm here. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry, I'm so kind of like laying like I am right now, but I'm. I'm kind of bedridden right now, so I'm I'm present, but um, I might shut off my camera just so everybody doesn't have to see me like this. Well, you're floating in the trees, so it's because actually kind I, of interesting. I know, I look like a nymph, a little wood nymph. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You know, it's just really inconvenient and I'm really bored and I just want to be in my classes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate that you're here, Wen. Thank you so much. I appreciate being here. Thank you. And Jenna did apologize for her, her inability to be here. She wanted to, you all to know that she wanted to be here. Yes. So I'm going to restate that. I uh, mean, that when just came, um, Jenna emailed us uh, now an hour and a half ago to me and Beth. She's not, she, she is not going to be able to be here, but she really wanted to be here. Um, uh, I, request her to send me a couple of sentences about the state of the form knowing how she works probably the form it's either done or close to be done so that's going to be shared with the members of the select committee probably tomorrow or before the end of the week so we can get it out of the door okay excellent so we're going to start with the uh public comment we had been pretty intentional since we started to be able to have at least in every uh, meeting 15 minutes of public comment. Um, in a couple of instances, we have had uh, community members coming in and giving testimony. Um, a couple of meetings ago, also we have the chair of the Human Rights Commission giving public comment and that beautifully turned into she being invited to our last meeting to give a sort of a fuller uh, talk about the work that she's doing with the Human Rights Commission and the onboarding process that they are sort of documenting how they are doing it. So we're going to wait a little bit, a couple of minutes, maybe one or two minutes to see if somebody comes in. How many am I? That is 7.35. Um, and we're going to wait. <clears throat> Excellent. So we're going <clears> to <throat> move forward with with the agenda. Um we're going to move with the agenda tonight. <clears throat> Uh, the next item is approval of minutes, approval of meeting. I would say that I would like to table that, having in mind that uh, most of the comments, if all the comments that were made uh, as an amendment to those agenda items were made by Jenna. So I'm he hesitant to approve those without she um, sort of approving and being, um, how do you say that? For she being okay, the changes that were made. 
So I would I would uh, request the members if they are okay with tabling the the minutes so we can have Jenna also on board because she was the one who requested those amendments to those minutes. Is that okay with everybody? Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's, that's fine with me. Excellent, Susan. Yes, that's fine with me. Perfect. Excellent. Um, so I today's meeting probably is not gonna last the full hour and a half. I mean, in mind that uh, a, a big chunk of what we we're gonna talk today was the form. Um, I just want to remind you when you get the form later this week, um, do not reply all. Feel free to send comments on my way. And if there is any, if you are satisfied by the form, just let me know too. So we can so we can get it uh, out the door. Um, so um, I, I want to jump into I, item uh, number four C, which is the discussion about outreach. Um, and we have been talking a lot about, you know, the form is one way to do the outreach, right? But the, but honestly, <clears throat> and it's a good way. But honestly, there's a lot uh, there's a lot of pre requirements that people may need to have to be able to fill out the form. Among them, having an internet connection, having a tablet, a computer, or a phone, having you know, being willing to sit through an entire form, and also having sort of some level of writing ability to be able to do it, right? To do the most sort of more open ended questions that are not multiple right. choice or drop down menus, right? So I do think that um, talking about outreach, and I think uh, Gary talked a little bit about you know. Uh, even connecting with a local newspaper or local radio shows would be really useful for us to do outreach with a wider community. Um, and I want to open the floor for members uh, to talk about that, to talk about ways that they think outreach should be done in ways that we can actually partner with different entities, uh, people, elected officials across town to be able to make that happen. Cynthia. Yeah, just to piggyback on the discussion, uh, Garrick and I met about um, outreaching for the forum. And so some of the ideas that we had might be applicable here. If I could mm -hmm. just kind of tick them off. Does that sound good, Garrick? Yes. Um, and if you want to take that, <laughs> I wrote them down, but whatever. So I can, uh, I can fill in whatever you miss. OK, super, so, super. Um, so we were talking about, I'll just kind of um, cycle through this, you know, obviously for whoever reads it, the Gazette and writing a letter in the Gazette. Um, we talked about using the um, Department of Community Care and its leadership, um, thinking that those individuals have made a lot of inroads in um, uh, partnering with different organizations. So trying to tap that leadership to do that. Um, the infamous organization that I'm not a part of, but I hear is gaining traction is Northampton Neighbors. Um, I know I'm, I'm now talking about more traditional forms. Um, and again, we were sort of focused on advertising the forum, but I think this works as well. Um, city councilors, many city councilors uh, have a newsletter um, that they put out, and um, so tapping each city council. Um, we talked about um, uh, going on the Bill Newman show. Bill seems to and want to entertain local uh, um, officials in various capacities, and maybe even um, having having a conversation about what this committee is all about. Um, can, can lead into um, so casting a wider net. Um, um, let's see, I'm just looking here to see what else we had. Why do I have, oh, I know Garrick, help me on this one. The chair of the community, what's that committee on resources? Yeah. That's me. And so yeah. yes, uh, we also discussed whether or not um, maybe someone from this committee wants to do a presentation at a community resources just to do some outreach and give folks 
uh, another opportunity to hit some ears. Um, I, I would opt for someone else other than myself as the chair. I think it would be a little strange. So maybe Javier or um, Jamila or someone else wanted to do that, but that's an option. Thank you for, for that reminder. And then uh, um, Garrick was talking about, you know, this guy, Monte Del Monte, he has this march. Ah, ah. And, and so I said, ah, Garrick, that march already went by, and but it <laughs> hadn't. <laughs> it hadn't. So it was just, it just finished, I guess. But he seems to, that guy seems to have a network of folks. And so again, um, I'm talking about traditional things, but we also have the shoestring. We have some of the more, um, I'm going to say non-traditional or underground, um, you know, some of the agencies that we worked with Javier and uh, the police commission. So um, yeah. I'm just ticking off this list of, of different folks that we can um, can try to do outreach to, to help us with the form and with publicizing. I'm also thinking tabling, but I didn't know if that would be too strenuous. I, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, you know, this is interesting, Gary and Cynthia, when you mentioned Monty, um, during the question four campaign, which was, you know, hectic, with Senator Comerford, we talk about what people are into it that would be super quick to do, la would last probably three minutes, and you can post it everywhere. A Facebook Live. Oh yeah, and and and, and do and 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 who and, and and one of probably one of the most dynamic radio people that we know, with a, a beautiful network around the valley, it's Monty Belmonte, right? We never came around to do it because it's a crazy time, but I think that's that's gold. What the idea of partnering with Monty? I think I mean Gary, if you can do it. I think that would be beautiful. <laughs> I, I'm, I, this is really exciting. And the Newman show too. Yes, which, yeah. which is more of a, of a conversational style. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah. And Gwen, I, I loved your idea about the tables because you know we did tables um, in the, uh, for the health department, the Board of Health. Yeah. Um, you know, just, hey, you want a vaccine? No questions asked. Boom. Yeah. You know? um, and so uh, we picked up a lot of folks doing that. We did it in a variety of different locations in some of the, um, <laughs> the um, mixed income housing areas. And uh, yeah. so, I mean, it takes person power to do yeah. something like that. But it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, but um, Garrick asked me to ask a question when we were having this conversation, which I'm, I'm so happy you asked me this, Garrick, because I, as I think I told you, I got the final official word on this, but do you have to be a resident to be on a committee? And you do. It's in the charter bylaws something. And I got bad information once when I was inquiring at the mayor's office about a friend of mine who lives in Williamsburg. She wanted to be on the board. And so I was told, well, if the mayor wants her, an individual, it doesn't matter. But that's wrong information that um, so we have to be really careful as we do this, you know, outreach that we're outreaching to residents. Right. Um, so that's interesting. You know, it's an interesting dynamic that we're going to have to take into consideration. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was going to say something that I totally forgot about it. That also makes me think of something else. Um, at the end of Mayor Narkowitz's um, time. I remember him passing something whereby people who own businesses in Northampton can vote in Northampton. Um, so I don't know how relevant that would be or not. I haven't heard of that. I haven't heard either. Um, usually, I mean, I mean, so to be able to change something like this, you would need a home roll petition, which would go to the state legislature for example, many times Northampton and Amherst have been talking about being able to have non-citizen voting for residents, right? Yeah, uh, that's, yeah. And, and that's that's something, that's a beautiful initiative that is, right. you know, it's, it's not reinventing the wheel. I mean, California has it, San Francisco has it for uh, a school committee. Mm -hmm. 
that even if you're undocumented, you can vote. And in U.S. law, uh, non-citizens may be allowed to vote as long as it's not federal election, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's uh, I remember me and Bill Newman sent a letter to uh, Stan Moulton with Stan was the chair of mm -hmm. the Charter Review Commission in relationship to that recommendation. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, what I was gonna say, Natalia Muñoz, uh, yeah. in, in relation to a Spanish speaking audience, I think would be really useful. Um, so this is, this is, you guys are way ahead with ideas and what I thought. <laughs> okay. it, is Natalia, is um, Natalia, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead, Garrick. Oh, okay, I was just gonna finish up uh, after you and I talked, Cynthia, uh, I did reach out to Sean Donovan from uh, the Department of Community Care, and he responded. Um, you know, he's, he's very busy, so he won't, he's not able to give a lot of help, but he did direct me towards some sources, including MANA uh, Community Center to really yeah. um, delve into some of the unsheltered population. Yeah. Uh, he also, speaking of immigrants, he said, reach out to the um, yes. Pioneer Valley yeah. Workers yeah. Center. Yeah, Valley um, Workers Center. Yes, and and he also suggested the Wildfire Alliance. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Some right. options. So th those could be places we could reach out to, or or if someone has time, like Gwen said, we could table there, um, or you know, set yeah. someone up just to, you know, to be a person, a, a touchstone. Right. Yeah, I, this is these are great ideas, um, and you know, we work. Uh, the Worker Center did some work in question four uh, in Montague, which is one of their offices. So mm -hmm. I think I would be, you know, I had been doing that work through the years with them. So I would be able to to approach them to, to do okay. that. I think that the tabling is beautiful because, you know, you can be really strategically uh, stationed in places, in, in times that you know people are coming and going, or even be in a station outside the grocery store. Right. Right. I think yeah. it's it's a, it's a, it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. And yeah, I think I, I love the, the the that that plays a lot into accessibility. Yes, yeah. Um I I would be willing to do that as soon as I can get out of my house and I if we do it during my my school break, I could maybe do something like that, even though it's going to be cold and wintry. But you know, yeah, it's it's probably you know no longer than an hour stint, depending on once we pin down the locales. I mean, I okay. we don't want you to get cold, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, or I'm thinking like you know, if it was like. You know, maybe we could set up like if if we were to set up outside of the co-op, or if we were to set up outside of the senior center. But maybe we could do a little table just on the inside of the door, or something like that. Like, you know, senior center, great idea. That's another great idea. Also, the the dump when people are going to you know to throw their garbage and all that. I think that's a great idea too. Um, this yeah. is. This is incredible. This is really awesome. This is really nice. Um, also, that would be interesting to see. I, you know, this is a long shot, but if any of the schools are having, you know, parent teacher night to oh, be able yeah. to table in one of those. Right. Um, I love, and I would, when I would be willing to table with you or table by myself, whatever it is, but I love it. I, I, I think that that literally addresses my concerns in relation to accessibility and for us to be able to be really where you know the information is going to get to people. And this functions not only about our charge but also about the you know the listening event that we're going to have. Jamila, would would the tabling be um, for the listening event or would the tabling be for the collecting data about about um, people who apply for commissions? I, I would say that the main point would be bringing people to the listening event, but also we can have information to direct people to the form. Yes. Okay. Mm, okay. We could do both, yeah. 
Yeah, that, that was going to be my suggestion. That so you kill two birds with one stone. And yeah. That, that's yeah. This is this is beautiful. This is really inspiring. I like it. Another thing I'm thinking is if we were um, working with tapestry or mana, you know, we could do like co-tabling. Um, you know, that would get even more birds with one stone. Just reach out during the holidays and stuff like that. Absolutely. And also, I mean, we may be able to 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 partner a little bit with Northampton Community Television, right? Oh, with Northampton Open Media. Yeah. yeah. yeah Northampton Open Media. We can, we can serve our two brilliant counselors to talk about this. Right, right. I will, you know, I think that that would be something that, you know, would be really, really good. And having in mind that our community consumes a little, a, a, a little, a lot of local content. Yeah, so, thing we had also talked about is that Springfield is doing a similar thing. So uh, if, I wonder, I wonder, all right, I know, here goes my brain, but wouldn't it be kind of cool if we could like have like a talk show with like Springfield and like what they're addressing there and, you know, like, I don't know, it's just, just make it a little bit bigger. Just, yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's interesting when Susan, I know that among the conversations that we are we were having and Jenna was having with you, you guys were thinking about sort of taking a look in different communities that are sort of going through the similar process. Have you guys talked about uh, Springfield? Oops. We haven't caught quite gotten to case studies yet it's harder to get the case study data as you know readily as accessible as uh, the other data we've been accessing so we haven't gotten to it yet okay um would would be i mean knowing the internal developments in springfield which are quite quite contrasting to the you know the the the, the context which this committee was born in in sort of in Northampton, I think would be I I I would wait for Jenna and Susan to get to the point that you know we can okay. we can get that information. Um, this is this is really really good. Um, excellent. Um, let me see where we are here. Excellent. So, um, so I feel that those are the, we have a huge list right now of different places where we're gonna do. So what, what I'm gonna do, and, and Jamila, we can work on oh, this together. I have another idea. The farmer's, mar the farmer's market, sorry. The, 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 the um, winter farmer's market, yeah. Yes. Sorry. Is that one? Isn't isn't there one that is uh, at Smith Smith College on weekends? Um, well, I'm not Smith location. It's at Senior Center. Oh, yeah. Um, Wasn't there one at Smith College? I would have sort of got that I bought things there. I, uh, Smith Folk. I mean, it's Smith College. It's Smith. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, but I'm not sure if they're holding them this winter. Okay. So Jamila, with Jamila, we're gonna make a, a list and we're gonna sort of uh, start contacting people. Um, if you, if Garrick and Cynthia wanna sort of to reach out to, to Bill and, and Monty and Natalia Munoz, that would be beautiful. Is this just so we have a clarity, Javier, is that for our forum or is that for uh, outreach? I, I would say to promote our mission and yeah. promote the forum. Okay, so so we should pin down a date for the forum, and, you know. Yes. And, uh, so. When and we yeah. we talk about we talk about that forum happening in early March, right? Um, well, Garrick, uh, Garrick and I were, you know, uh, depends on you know we have other things on the agenda to push out our term of office or something. So um, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me, but we should we should try to pin it down <clears throat> as soon as we could can. Yes, um, I, um, I I will state that. Yeah, Cynthia and I talked about 
we want to give ourselves enough time that if the first form doesn't isn't as spectacular as, as it should be we have we can do another we can learn from our mistakes I, I think that's really the thing like if you want to do in march just give ourselves enough time to possibly do it again and then collect our data that that makes absolute sense uh, i i would just invite you both to remember that we we voted for uh requesting an extension uh for april 15th so just whatever date you guys come in are absolutely fine with me just have in mind that our uh, report should be sent by April 15th. So just let's have that in mind. Sounds uh, to me like a February and a March one though, you know? Yeah. I mean, February is the month that everybody's captive where they have to be <laughs> between, between you and me. So um, it's, you know, the, 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 the grossest part of winter. So if there is a there is a, a place that we can make it happen, I think that's that's the one. And, and when you say a place, Javier, I, I was assuming it was going to be on Zoom. Yeah. But, okay. Yes. Yeah. We are gonna we're gonna keep sort of the accessibility portion to it. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So uh, with Jamila, we're gonna we're gonna get the the list of options options from Beth, and we're gonna start sort of mapping out for for this group all the different options and in the meantime i would appreciate it garrick and cynthia to start getting in touch with multiple multiple newman and natalia munoz to try, try to see the possibility of promoting these on on radio uh in the case of natalia munoz if you want to mention that maybe if there's a spanish option that would be great i I sit with Natalia on the NEP, NEPR, uh, NPR, NEPM mm -hmm. right. uh, community board. So, um, I mean, I can, I'm, I can also talk to the people from, uh, from New England Public Media about having something with them. Okay. I, I just, um, in terms of Natalia, who I don't know, and Garrick, I don't know if you know, I don't know if it's better if we have someone who knows her to reach out. I, I can get in touch with her. Okay. It's it, serving the same board. Okay. Is that okay, Javier? Just it might be a. No, yeah, yeah. I'm, in fact, I'm going to see her on Monday. I think Monday we have board meeting. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This is, this is really exciting. <laughs> All right. Exciting. Um, excellent. So, we're going to move to. Uh, the short conversation about the extension of committee charge. So um, I send you, and I'm really sorry for sending different versions of it. And all of a sudden I sent it, and I realized there was some mistake. I have to change it. And I saw another mistake. So the last version that you guys got is the last version. I'm going to share it with you. Let me see uh, here. There it is. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, I think it's this one, yes. Um, and this is, this is uh, so at the beginning, if you remember, um, the city council is having a meeting this week. So my thoughts about the letter was, I will send the letter. And after that, this committee, uh, this committee will receive the letter, but we would not have the time to be able to make any changes. And there were two reasons. First, for timing, and second, because this is just asking for an extension to April 15. It's really simple, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is addressed to uh, City Council President Jim Nash and City Council Vice President Karen Foster, uh, which is it, it later is signed by me, Jamila, and Garrick. Uh, when I talked to Jim about this, he said that, you know, would be good for me, Jamil and Gary, Jamil and Gary having uh, been city councilors plus me as a chair to present the request, right? Uh, that's the reason why. Um, we talk about that the letter should have in some way sort of an account of what's going to happen between now and the time that we're asking to, to extend the charge. And um, I talk a little bit in the letter about the creation, uh, what we have done, 
uh, and the creation of the form and uh, the, how the form is meant to sort of encompass uh, the different people that have served, are serving or have not served, but they are interested to serve. And after that, uh, we I talk a little bit about um, the 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 event that we want to have as a public listening session for mm -hmm. us to be able to keep gathering feedback from the community. Um, and if you remember, our charge technically ended in October twentieth of uh, this year. And we're asking an extension uh, all the way to April 15, 2023. And we voted on that date uh, to request that date in our last meeting. Um, is there any comment that uh, the members of the select committee would have? Cynthia. Uh Oh, sorry, Cynthia. I was gonna mute myself, and all of a sudden, you drop in my screen. That's a that's an interesting move. <laughs> um, um, just a question. Um, so I'm not trying to set anything in motion here, but but we did have a lot of technical glitches, which which caused us to to have several cancel meetings. And I'm just wondering if that adds to the case or if you had a conversation with Council Nash. I mean, he knows about those. I know he knows about those. Um, if that's not necessary to mention, um, but it, it did put us behind, I, or at least from my perception, but you, you've had conversations behind the scenes. And so I'm just throwing that out there if you think that adds to the case or if the case is- you know, So yes. Yes, you are absolutely right that most of our charts got pretty delayed because of, of technical issues. Yeah. Um, uh, Council President Nash and uh, Vice President, Council Vice President Foster had been, you know, attentive to all that development, right? And yeah. we had been working with Beth and the city to try to fix it. That's, that's the reason why I didn't add it to the letter. Um, I think when me, Jamil and Gary present uh, about the extension, we, we will mention that. But uh, in, 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 in relation to the letter, I just wanted to be really, cl really clear that um, I just wanted to keep it clean from the point of view of this is what we have done, this is what we want to do, this is it. I, I really appreciate the fact that uh, Councilor Foster and Councilor Nash have been on top of everything. And if you have noticed, uh, it's it's rare not seen in this meeting Councilor Nash or Councilor Foster attending. So they they know. <laughs> right. So um, and 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 one of the reasons why in the last couple of meetings we had been able to meet without problems is because those big hiccups from that we had were able to be worked out in, in some way. Yeah, fair enough. As long as people know we weren't dragging. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, they, they are cognizant of it. Um, talking about hiccups. So I in, in one of the things that is gonna happen in as a, as a sort of up to date to the, to the members is that the city council was expected to hear from us in relation to the request of the extension in their meeting this week. Okay. That's not gonna happen. Uh, the the agenda item is gonna is gonna be removed because they are uh, they they are a, a bit they are one of specific things in relation to budget that needs to be worked out in relation to the extension. So when that's worked out, uh, which is probably gonna be this week or next week, we will be able to present the the petition of the extension. In the meantime, we're gonna just keep working normal. Okay. Excellent, excellent. You guys are incredibly good. So let me see. Um, I think that's that's all from my end. Is there anything? Um, is there anything that uh, members would like to add? Um, when I would like to. Uh, 
if you can send me shoot me an email in relationship to when when you, you when you think you're going to be uh moving around so we can sort of uh okay. because one of the things that i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna create a flyer so we can table with something that is gonna is gonna be a one pager about who we are what we do why we're doing it so as soon as we can start tabling mm -hmm. that okay. we, can, we can we can do it cool all right that sounds good to me excellent is there any other uh matter and, and now we're in the new business section of the agenda is there anything that uh, the men, select committee members would like to add excellent i really appreciate Derek and cynthia the the thoughtful work about our reach that's that's fantastic that put us a lot uh ahead of ahead of the game for real um excellent cynthia anything to say no i think we just need to pin some you know um garrick i'll say it here you and i can get together again and you know pin down a few things dates and definitions and you know who's going to write a letter to the gazette you know that kind of stuff um and and looking for the whole committee to volunteer to do different things so that that's cool so, excellent. So I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Ooh. Oh, uh, next meeting, please. Just um. so, um, oh, that's correct. So I would like for us to meet next Tuesday, if that's possible. Okay. So in that way we can, in that way we can get the, a, a full report from Jenna in relation to the form and we can just get it out. Okay. Well, December 6th at 7.30. Yep. One second. I'm just trying to see. Today's the 29th. Yeah, it would be December 6th, same time. I just have to grab my schedule. I think that was on the books originally. I think I'm I think I'm all set for that. So uh Jamila. Oh, um, there's an RFP um, community block development meeting that night that I have to be at at six or that I feel that I should go to at six o'clock next Tuesday. Um, but if we were going to have it a little later, I could. It would be at 7.30 when. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Excellent. And Susan, did I see a thumbs up? That works for me. Excellent. Beautiful. And as, as Gary and Cynthia said, that was sort of the regular meeting time. Uh, so we're, we're going to do that. Excellent. Um, Actually, it's not technically that because we meet the second and fourth, I think, right? And yeah. that's, that's the first. That's actually the first Tuesday. Would, would you be being able to do it? Yes, that's fine. Okay, and after that, I think we can because we're going to be deploying the form. We can we can try to see if we want to form subcommittees so we don't have to have full meetings. And in those meetings, the people from those sub subcommittees would be able to take notes, so we wouldn't sort of keep taxating uh, Beth taking those notes. Um, except, um, I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. When? Okay. Second. Excellent. Gary. Beth. Javier. Yes. Jamila. Yes. Susan. Yes. When? Yes. Garrick. Yes. And Cynthia. Yes. That's a unanimous Excellent. motion to adjourn.